Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to review and also quick unbox the latest Pike model number BL45 projector. It's a big screen viewing experience that you can get from this nice looking projector. Again, you can see that the box is really nicely designed. Going around it, it has some markings that you need to know about it first. But again, it is not a really colorful box. So once we open it, you're going to see the wires that are sitting on top and then we'll go through it and then also once you open more you'll see the projector sitting inside of a nice looking sleeve so once you take everything out if you haven't subscribed yet to our channel click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so this way you're going to get notified once we have a new video out on top of that click the like button smash it also if you have a question drop them at the bottom of the video we really love to help you out ASAP. The components that are part of it is a user manual, which has a lot of information on how you can hook it up, how you can play the videos itself. Also comes with a nice looking remote. Again, it's a IR remote and we will show where the sensor is so you can use this remote. It's very handy when you're trying to play with this projector itself. Also, it comes with a power connector, just a connector on one side and the other side just goes to your electricity, which is created for Canada and United States. It comes with a AV connection and that is just a adapter which will be connected to the back of this device itself. In the other side you have the yellow, the red and the white so that we can connect it to your VCRs if you have. On top of that it also comes with a HDMI cable which is 2.0 and it is about a meter long. Again it's a really flat wire. All right, so we're gonna put everything aside. You can see that the projector itself now, it looks beautiful. It is colored with red and black. And again, it's very shiny on the top and also around it. When you see it, you're going to get really attracted to it. Since there is some weight to it, not like the other projectors, it is not light. And on top of that, when you go in the front, it's really nice, have a cut in the front. You have a big lens for the projector itself. And then going towards the middle, you'd see the name of the company. Then you do see the little IR sensor. And then going on the right side of it, you have some holes for ventilation. And yes, once you turn it on, it breathes. And then going on the back part of it also, you have some holes for more ventilation. In the bottom part of it, you have a little part for the keystone fixing. We will show you that in a few seconds again. Going on top part of it, you have an HDMI connection, which can intake 1080p. And then also you have the IR sensor. And yes, that's where the remote will be connected in order to work. Then you have two connectors. One is for the AV so that we can connect your older devices like a VCR to this. There is a headset jack so you can connect it to your speakers. Going on the other side of it, you do have a coaxial connection and yes you can connect your antenna to this you can watch your local channels but again since we move to digital this is analog it did not work for me and then right beside that you have the VGA connection so you can connect your older type of laptops or computers to this so this we can use this as a regular computer screen beside that you have a nice USB 2.0 so you can put all of your movies on a USB or pictures and you can make a nice slideshow out of it. Right beside that you do have the SD card slot. Again, you can take everything out of your phone on a micro SD, connect it to a little adapter and hook it up to this so you can watch your pictures and videos. And then right underneath of it, you have the power connection and on the right side of it, you have more holes for ventilation. Going on the bottom part of it, you have four legs so it can stand up. You do have a little holes there, that is the speaker. And then you have some more holes in the top part of it. So that way you can hook it up upside down on a ceiling or you wanna hook it up to a tripod, you can do that too but it also comes with a little connector so you can hook up in the bottom and this way you can make the face of this a little bit up. So this we can put it on a table and use it. You can see on the top part of it you have some buttons there too and this is how you're going to navigate through if you do not want to use the remote. Just press the button so it can turn on. Now the first thing that we have done is we connected a USB which we captured from one of our Cody videos that we were working on and you can see it is very clear and we are just projecting this on a ceiling so we can get a quick picture out of it with the light around it. And then once you turn it off it gets very very nice and clear. Now that's not only thing it has a lot of menus inside of it so you can fix the brightness. First thing I want to talk about is the keystone so once you go to it you can see that the keystone is very easy to 
fix so the bottom part or the top part and you can make it level this way it, the picture looks nice and crisp the next thing is the menus again going back so you have certain menus that you can set up the brightness and also you can set up the ratio remember that once you connect anything to this via hdmi the maximum resolution that will input is going to be 1080p but remember that the native resolution on this is 480i and no it does not go higher this is 480 by 800 and it is compatible for intake up to 1080p again this is really cool so the image size so starting for about 30 inches when we hooked this up we were about two meters away and we got good hundred inch out of it and we cannot go more further since the room is a little bit small the noise level stuck around 33 to 35 dbs which is really good numbers for this projector so those things are really standing out for us again if you want to really zoom in yes you will see a lot of pixels there but it is not as visible as some of the other projectors that are out there so again with the price range of what you're going to get from this this really worth having and this is really cool thing to play with again you can play a lot of things through usb not only that if you have the hdmi connected even if you connect your apple tv4 this will do the job for you but you have to understand that certain things do have some little pixelation so if you want to play video games on this again it looks beautiful as i'm showing you right now When you're playing your video games you don't see much latency from the controller to the screen i have to mention a few things that it works really good in a dark room so if you have some light you can see it that how faded it will get and the more light that you bring it will get really faded the cost do matter on this so this is a really good projector it is average projector and again with the price range and also with the quality that they have created this this should cost a little bit higher than what they are asking for links will be available we can order it from if you have a question drop them at the bottom of the video about this projector we love to help you out and again if you want more pictures it will be available on our website which is xitex.info except that follow us on instagram also facebook and make sure that you subscribe on our youtube channel and hey, thank you